Hey guys, very quickly, let's continue our ride. As we look at the muscles around the shoulder, very important. What are the various muscles that we have around the shoulder? As far as upper limb is concerned, what should we know? This is our lesson seven. So if you have not watched lesson one to lesson six, you they play. Oh, eh, eh. Yeah, let's go together. What are the muscles around the shoulder? Very fast. You must know this, that the muscles around the shoulder, they include the following number. One is called your deltoid. What's it called? Your deltoid. That's number one, deltoid muscle. Number two is called the teres major. What is it? The teres major. Aside the teres major, we now have what is called the supraspinatus, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, called teres minor, and subscapularis, and subscapularis. Let's go. Deltoid is number one. Deltoid and what? Teres major. Deltoid, teres major. In other words, aside deltoid and teres major, sure you see these other guys like this, right? The supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and subscapularis. That's what we call them. But first, all these six muscles, what's the acronym? Just give me DT and what? Six. What did I call it? Your DT, deltoid and teres, what? Major. And then your six muscles. What are the six muscles? S I T S. They are the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor. Because there are two teres there, some people will now go and mistake the six muscle for teres major. Don't try it. What is it there? The teres minor and then the what? The subscapularis. Hold on. Your six muscles, right? There's what we call all of them S I T S. Your six muscles, all of them put together. That's your six muscles. What can I call them? They are popularly called the rotator, rotator what? Cuff, cuff, C-U-F-F, -F. rotator cuff muscles. What are they called? Rotator cuff muscles. Just note that down first. As we move, right, you are going to be hearing a lot of things about rotator cuff muscles that I'm going to be showing you. But want to go, call all of them for me. Your DT and C, your deltoid, your teres major. Your supraspinatus, infraspinatus, your teres minor, and the word subscapularis. Don't cram anything. Understand why they name a muscle like that, so that from there you can follow me squarely and look at every singular thing. Are you good to go with me? Yeah, let's go very fast. The first there is called the deltoid. Hold on a bit. A complete series of classes in anatomy, all of them, physiology, all the physiology, biochemistry, all. They are available in the LearnLift app. So just head down to Play Store or App Store and type LearnLift, right? And then download the app and you have access to all your classes and the continuation of this lesson you are watching right now. For the now, peace out. Why do we call it the deltoid? First, that's the question. Why are we calling it deltoid? It is gotten from, deltoid is gotten from the Greek alphabet, delta. Delta, you know this is how you write your delta now, eh? like delta x, where you say your delta s or change in x all over your water, delta y, that's changing y, delta there, right? If you look at the shape of this muscle, right, the way the muscle is shaped, it's more like looking like delta. Are you getting it now? So this here, this muscle here is your deltoid muscle. Are you seeing it now? That's the deltoid what muscle. So if I ask you anywhere and you feel, uh, Baba, no try, uh, what is the muscle there? It is called the what? The deltoid. Does it make sense? Yeah, very important. So you can see it squarely anywhere you sit in the dream, you remember it. The second is called the teres major and the teres minor. Let me join the two together here. Now follow me. This guy here, this here, is your teres major. In other words, this A is teres major. That's the muscle there. The B, the muscle that is alighted in green, that is this green guy here, that's your teres what? Minor. You can see the location of the teres major and your what? Your teres what? Minor. One is bigger. The other one is kind of like smaller, right? The word teres, it means something that is long, but not that long go ahead, but kind of like still long a bit, right? That's where we get it from. So we have teres, teres what? Major and the teres what? Minor. You can identify the two of them, right? Which of the two is not part of the rotator cuff muscle? Teres major is not a part of the rotator cuff muscles. The one that is part of the rotator cuff that will help you in the rotation of the shoulder, right? Which one is it? It is the teres what? Minor. If you get this very quickly, now look at this diagram very fast. From there, you can see your teres major and your teres minor, right? Two of them are clearly spelled out. 
the one that is is it purple be blue purple this purple guy here that's the word terrace minor the one that is like golden color here what is it here this one that is running this way what is that that's the terrace what's major does it make sense which one is not part of the rotator cuff major is not part but minor is part of it another important thing you must know very fast is the supraspinatus come why do they call it the supraspinatus from the name supra right it is something it is not super spinatus no it is supra spinatus something that is kind of like on top spinatus is telling us the spine now look at this very quickly this guy that you are seeing here that's the spine of the scapula you know scapula is behind right oh yes that's the spine of the scapula this guy that you are seeing here this is the spine of your scapula or scapular spine right very fast now on top of the spine of the scapula is this muscle that we can see here what is the name of this muscle on top that's the supra what spinatus now don't forget that the scapula we are referring to it is the posterior surface you know scapula as you move when we are looking at bones you are going to understand these things well but take note just picture this with me the scapula has the anterior surface right and the posterior surface or the anterior side and the posterior side of it let me call it that way now at the posterior surface that's where you have the spine of the scapula you know that was normally eh, if you are palpating your scapula that side you are touching that's the posterior surface of the scapula right you know if you are viewing the scapula like let's say this whole of this pectoral region is not there and you are viewing the scapula from here what will you call it that's the anterior surface of the scapula from this side that you are viewing that's the posterior surface of the word scapula i know scapula is behind yes but the posterior surface of the scapula there are two prominent muscles there the supraspinatus is one of them and the supraspinatus is on top of the what the spine of the scapula from the name supra above on top spinatus spine of the scapula so this muscle that is green here what is it called it is the supra what spinatus does it make sense the next very quickly is called the infraspinatus still the spine of the scapula this is the spine of the scapula right so which muscle is now underneath the spine of the scapula what is it called the infraspinatus of course this still is your what infra what spinatus so you know your supraspinatus where will the supraspinatus be from this of course you should know that on top of this side here that's where the supraspinatus is going to occupy right yes so underneath the supraspinatus are you going to have the infraspinatus and aside that we also have what is called the subscapularis now look up please before i explain subscapularis tell me the supraspinatus and the infraspinatus where are they are they posterior are they on the posterior surface of the scapula on the anterior surface of the scapula posterior surface of the scapula that's why you have the supraspinatus and the infraspinatus right yes when you come to your subscapularis it's not like that your subscapularis from the name scapularis scapula sub right now this is it at the anterior surface of your scapula on the inside of it that's where you have your what your subscapularis this guy here is your subscapularis so on the anterior surface of the scapula right which must we line it that the subscapularis don't play with the supra um, spinatus infraspinatus and the subscapularis in your mind know where they are first so that by the time we are learning all these muscles one after the other their origin their insection their action their in the visions blood supply all of them will not be very much easier for you does it make sense so the most important thing now for you is to know their names very important if you get this very quickly with me want to go give me the six muscles that you have around the shoulder very quickly when it comes to creating accounts how do you create an account very easy let me give you the steps first and foremost you see create account and login you only log in right when you already have an account since you don't have an account click click on create account when you get there put in your phone number put in your phone number after putting in your phone number you click on continue right your first name of course you put in your first name there if your first name is james you put in james as your first name your last name if your last name is victor you put in what victor as your last name then you come to email address right Put in your email address there very quickly. James112 at gmail.com. 
at gmail.com. Then your password, right? Oh, yes. Those of you that like, if you want to use your name, your password can just be like six digits, right? Oh, yes. So let me say James 12. James 12 as the password, right? Fill everything accurately and correctly. James 12. Don't jump any stage. If not, your account is not going to open for you. Select education. Under select education, of course, university. You click university. Leave secondary, primary. Leave the others. Click university or tertiary. Click it. Come to select level. Under select level, you go and select your level. If it's 100 level, 200 level, of course, all these are the university classes. Click on 200 level and click on create account. Once you click on create account, what will happen? Your class will load straight and then your profile will be set up and then it will take you towards to class easy and direct. So you see it. This is how you create your account. And then from here, you can see that you have your anatomy here, your upper limb, your lower limb, separately embryology, histology, systemic anatomy. Those ones are for nursing. Your CVS, cardiovascular system, your blood physiology, excitable tissues, systemic physiology, intro to biochemistry, your bio molecules, BCM for nursing, nursing psychology. You have access to every single Latin in the app. Now, let me see what is in the app. Let's say, for example, upper limb. You click on the upper limb, right? You can see that you have your classes there already waiting for you. Overview of the upper limb, pectoral region, arm region, forearm, hand, all of them, part by part. When I click on the overview of the upper limb, of course, I'll just match it straight to my class. Parts of the upper limb, one part of the upper limb, two bone up, bones of the upper limb, joints of the upper limb, muscles. You see, all your classes are there for you, right? Okay, let me say I want to start now and then I want to watch joints of the upper limb. All you just need to do is click on that particular class that you want to watch, joints of the upper limb, and what will happen? Your class will load, and your classes will start playing for you immediately. Sure, you see, you will choose to say, okay, I want to rotate it, right? Oh, yes, rotate it, and you start following your classes immediately, easy and direct. You may choose to say, okay, you want to forward, you want to pause, you want to back, um, back forward, anyone you want to do. Out, you take it forward, and what happened? You can see all of them very, very easy. And the sweet part is that there are questions for you at the end of every class. Are you with me? So that's for that. And you may choose to go back and then go to the notes section of the app. Oh, yes, when you get to the notes section of the app, of course, the notes are there, well organized and arranged for you. And you can zoom in and then start following back to back, and you are following. You may even choose to go and start answering questions. Questions are there for you and there are answers. You start um, following through every singular facet of it and you are learning on your own. And there is CPT in the app as well for you. A lot of other aspects that you can follow up. All of this in the LearnLift app. Same way you have for anatomy. That's how you have for physiology. That's how you have for biochemistry. Are you getting it now? For the now, bye-bye want to go call all of them for me number one is called the deltoid correct what's number two you are correct the terrace was major so aside the deltoid and the terrace major all others what do you call them the rotator cuff muscles and what are they number one is the supraspinatus number two is the infraspinatus the terrace minor and the what sub scapularis so all of them put together what do we say they are called they are called the what the rotator what cuff cuff what muscles so those guys are called the rotator cuff what muscles. If you get this very quickly with me again, what is the acronym that you remember? Just remember your DT sits. DT and sits. What's your DT? Delta and teres what? Major. And sits. Which are the rotator cuff muscles? Supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and the word subscapularis. You always ask these things in exams. If you get this very quickly with me, bro, question time. Answer these questions for me very fast. Get all of them correctly. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now, which muzzle is the one that is a lighted green? Or this guy that are on top of this? Or this muzzle here? This muzzle here at the back? What's it, what is the answer? You are correct. What is it called? Of course, the words, the supra word spinatus is the correct answer. Very simple, easy and direct. Can we proceed? Yeah, let's go. But please, if that supra spinatus here, eh, tell me what's the name of this. If you watch. This guy here, this is one, one muzzle, this is one, this is two, another muzzle, this is three, right? This is four. I expect you to know the name of the whole four muzzles. One is the supraspinatus. Two is the what? Infraspinatus. Three 
is the what terrace minor and four is the terrace what major come on very simple easy and direct yeah let's go give me the name of this guy here yeah, very fast what's the name of this oh it's looking like delta what's the name deltoid is the name of the muzzle if you get that very fast let's go you are doing well though what about this one get out you are correct you are maybe get what is it called Infra spinatus is the correct answer. We are bros. Answer this question for me. What is it called? Ah, you see, now that I've explained all of them for you, see that they are very simple. Sub what capillaris is the correct answer. These muscles are very, very cheap, easy, and what you read. You get this very quickly with me, bro. It is question time now. As I as you see the question, call the answers, they follow me fast, fast. Now let's go one, two, one, two, one, two. Which muscle is not part of the rotator of muscles? First. Tell me the acronym for the rotator cuff muscles. They are the SITS muscles. SITS. Supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and subscapularis. Which one is not part? Option A says supraspinatus. It is part. Option B says teres minor. It is part. Option C says subscapularis. It is part. Option D might be the answer. Teres what major? It is not part of it. What is the answer? Teres major option D is the answer. Does it make sense? Simple. Now let's go very fast. Look at this question Q and A. So as you get the answer, drop it for me in the Q and A section or you drop it in the comment section very quickly. Let's go. The question says which muscle is located on the posterior side of the scapula and is part of the rotator cuff muscle? When you're here, posterior side of the scapula, two major muscles should come to your mind. Two major, two major, two major. Yes. Option A says, Deltoid. I don't know. Is deltoid here? Yeah? Only you will answer it for me. Option B say teres major. Option C say infraspinatus. Option D say teres minor. Wait, wait, wait. Go and write the answer for me in the Q and A or in the comment section. If you get that very quickly with me, bro, guess what? I'll see you in the next class. And guess what we're going to be looking at in the next class? In that next class, guess what we're going to be looking at? We'll be looking at the muscles of the arm in the next class. So we are done with the shoulder. We are coming to the what arm. I'll see you in that class for the now. Peace out. Bye-bye. Hope you've enjoyed this class. Guess what? To follow up for more classes, just download the Learn Lift app, whether on Play Store or App Store, and then follow up your classes. You must do extremely well. I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.